Hi there! Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. It can get pretty hot and dry here in the Okanagan and we've got a species of cactus that lives here. Brittle prickly pear cactus. And it actually has some edible and medicinal uses. And I'm going to tell you about it. Brittle prickly pear cactus. Scientific name is Opuntia fragilis. They are a perennial succulent that grow up to 15 centimeters long and their stems, the green part, those are actually the stems and they are flattened, broad and fleshy and they typically grow in two to five centimeter segments and like the name says they're brittle, they break apart really easily and they attach to things, that's one way that they spread. The spines are modified leaves and they grow the segments they usually grow less than five centimeters long and there are flowers this is part of why i was excited about uh i wanted to make this video because it was flowering quite a bit and i hadn't seen that much flowering uh, so maybe because we've had a lot of rain this year i don't know anyway the flowers are usually peach colored yellow to peach colored and with very thin petals and they have they grow on stalks that are red there's some more over here that maybe you can see better some of the stalks there in the middle I'll try to point at it yeah without jamming without getting it attached to me they're brittle so that's one way they spread they uh, get attached to things animals whatever and start new growth somewhere else they do fruit they have a the fruits are pear-shaped berries that are dry and somewhat spiny. A little awkward to try to get in a shot with the cactus compared to some other plants that I film for some obvious reasons. So, brittle prickly pear cactus is the species of cactus that you... It's the most, most northern... It has the most northern range of any cactus in the world and you can find it in Canada from BC to southwestern Ontario and throughout the western United States and the Midwest all the way south as far as California and Texas. Brittle prickly pear cactus can be found at low elevations in arid basins and dry open places in grasslands, in sagebrush slopes, ponderosa pine forest openings, and rocky outcrops. And it is edible. Uh, it's been described as an important uh, what's the word an important famine food in times of famine so uh you know i don't think this is exactly the kind of food that you're gonna go eating uh by choice but maybe file that information away uh for future reference as an important famine food anyway uh many interior indigenous groups ate them they were boiled roasted or pit cooked and uh, one way like to eat them would be to throw them like in a fire roast off the roast off the leaves and then then they're more easily handled and they have been added to soup or baked in cakes and mixed with fat and berries and the stems have also been pickled or candied and they have some medicinal uses the peeled stems were used for dressing wounds and mashed to put on aching backs and the stems were also boiled to make a medicinal drink for diarrhea, lung problems, or given to people who could not urinate. So brittle prickly pear cactus is a, it's an opuntia species. And uh, I was moving this just to show how, you know, how brittle they are, how easily detached. I just brushed this little thing aside and that thing was already sticking to it and moving it. But, uh, there are recent studies that say that uh, the juice of Opuntia species may be effective in lowering blood sugar level in diabetics. And uh, I thought of that, but what I was going to say before was that all of the different Opuntia species are edible. And these ones, uh, they're pretty little compared to some of the big ones that are you can find in the, in the United States. But this is what we've got in BC, and so I think it's pretty cool. So if you like the video, 
then please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.